Thank you, Lenya. Thank you all. I have the most difficult and the easiest job as well. The easiest because I can just throw a blanket over all the statements and say that everyone had said the right thing. The most difficult because I'm the last obstacle before your jump to the pool, your walk in the sun, or your visit with a friend. Nevertheless, I must say that we invested two days here. Uh, I learned English language and I understood that uh, spent is the time you do, but I truly can say that we truly invested two days of very thoughtful presentations, very insightful comments, very deep thinking. Uh, we spent a two days here, but we also have to keep in mind that we're not wasting a crisis because we are a crisis and crisis is a terrible thing to waste. I carefully took notes of uh, several elements that you cover and among others, I'm wondering if there is a clash of cliches or a cataclysm of contrast or uh, is it constructive criticism or corrosive comments? I think it's uh, probably a, uh, a combination of uh, a series of contrasts as well as a, a list of uh, complementary thoughts. And I provide them all to you for your own judgment. We heard giving versus doing. We heard uh, long-term versus short-term benefits. Doing more versus having less. Or even doing more with less. We heard about human relief help versus arts and culture, changes versus transformation, fish versus fishing, austerity versus growth, Rubini versus Houdini, working with versus working for, yakking versus hacking, and finally, quite importantly, social welfare state versus social wealth society. Well, these are more questions than answers, and uh, I can tell you that personally I'm more fulfilled than ever before that I'm walking away with more questions than answers. Again, keep in mind that crisis is a terrible thing to waste. We are so fulfilled by this, but I can assure you that uh, the Foundation decided to do this conference again. We will let you know the day because you're our favorite audience, and we will do it very much again in the same location next year. In the meantime, we will keep a close contact electronically and Lenya will take this initiative to keep in touch with all of you. In the meantime, we'll keep our heads down and we'll do what we know doing best, is select the best possible grantees for us. We don't have a recipe, we don't have a magic potion, we don't have uh, a special conduit in finding our grantees, but is a very basic, fundamental two questions that we ask ourselves. And the first is, do we offer social value? And then the second question is, is the management of our grantees capable, motivated, driven, committed, honest, sincere, and truthful? We had six examples here earlier today. Once we pass all this, we are ready for the next and then we start doing the work and peeling the onion and we do more analysis and eventually we grant them with what they request if the request is reasonable. We shall continue doing that because we believe this is the right thing to do. It's a healthy portion of logic, common sense and analysis. Emilio told us that uh, his own founder gave them a latitude to maneuver. Our own did the same. Could these people, being so smart and successful, could not tell us, concentrate on a single thing? Certainly they could, but they were so foresight and with such a deep understanding of what it is to come for the centuries perhaps to come, they give us the heavy load of the latitude of selecting on their behalf. It's a healthy portion of logic, common sense, and analysis. We discover that it's something between art and science. And that is where the magic begins and we are not afraid to believe. We dare to dream. In the middle of Greece's nightmare, we build a better future. We thank our founder for making it possible, and we thank you all for coming.